Because you said uh, you intentionally tried to become this way. So do you feel like this kind of this kind of work ethic can be taught to younger athletes that maybe want to be performing at the top, but maybe don't have that naturally coming to them as a younger kid, like you might have had? Yeah, if if they have the if they want it, if they have the drive to do it, then it's up to like a coach to make them want to work hard. You can want the goal, but you want the work. And that, that, that's up to, like, their coaches. How do they inspire them to show up to the gym every day? How do you inspire them to do the extra stretching at night, like the, the lame stuff? But it's like, if, if you know, if you could find a reason for it, any, anything is, is possible. And, I mean, the beauty of that is that I can create a reason right now I feel like working on this second <laughs> because I really want it. I can't wait to train tonight because yeah. I want to get better. I want to, I want to be the best. I want to be the best. And it's like the only way to get it is through constant repetition and focus and growth. And like, yeah. So you feel like the coach's roles there is more sort of showing the process. So like if you want that goal that maybe as a 14, 15 year old kid seems really far away, bringing those people in to kind of help guide you and help show you, you know, we've got a goal that's maybe that's years and years away. What do we need to be doing now? What do we need to be doing to lead up to that point where you're at right now of that feeling like you're in your physical prime and ready to actually take that title home? Right. So I guess that means if you're young coming up right now, get a good circle around you. Get good teammates. Like, I wish that I had some of the teammates before that I have now because my game could have went all the way up earlier. But, you know, fate is fate. Things just happen for a reason. But if I could tell someone and suggest that, it's like surround yourself with a great team and then watch – or even, like, inspired individuals. I have some guys on my team who they don't do any boxing stuff at all. But because they have drive and passion and determination to do things, I like being around that guy because he makes me come up with good ideas too. So I think get around good people, create a good team like that, start early, envelop yourself in your own passions, and then do the work. This is yeah. a nice formula. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that uh, I think that circle around people is one thing that uh, one thing that's been on my mind a lot the last little while is finding the right circle because I think especially you know if you're going through high school and all that kids go through all kinds of different pressure getting pulled one way or the other and just to kind of try to find the path if you know where you want to go with your athletic career trying to find the people who are going to support that and push you that way and maybe not let yourself get pulled down pulled down other routes right and you know what Here, here's a great opportunity for me to pass on a lesson that my one-time master gave to me. And let me pass it down to athletes of the younger generation. And that is, your teammates are going to come and go. Your classmates are going to come and go. Your girlfriends, your boyfriends are going to come and go. Some friends are going to come and go. Your work people will come and go too. But you're going to be with yourself all the way. So... You have to work on your own stuff because this stuff's uncontrollable and there's something you can always rely on and that's the ability to be like, I'm here. I'm here right now. I, I choose to read. I choose to write something. This is how I'm going to get ready for my event because, you know, I've seen it happen so many times. Guys will be like, ah, I'm good, but when there's not people around, I feel a little different than before the fight. I'm not as hyped up. You have to be able to lean on yourself. I think that's a very, very important thing. So remember to work on self. and You know, it'll, it'll pay out in the long run. I promise you that. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got something great out of it. If you did, drop a comment below to let me know exactly what that was. If you liked the clip and you haven't done so already, you should check out the full podcast by clicking the link in the description. Also, follow me on social media to keep up to date with everything I'm doing as well as everything that I have to offer. I'm always putting new programs out, new things that you can all be a part of. Finally, if you want more clips like this one, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification button to make sure you hear when new videos are coming out. 
I've really made a commitment to trying to grow this channel this year, helping coaches and athletes everywhere understand what it takes to build their dream careers in sport. I hope you consider subscribing and I will see you back here soon.